Welcome to our tutorial about the SELECT functionality in AutoCAD. First, let's zoom into my geometry. I'm going to create a few more circles. Let's switch Snap Mode on. Make sure that Endpoint and Midpoint are active. They'll have a blue box around them. Now activate the Circle command. We'll place our circle about here. Enter a radius value in the command line of 0.4. Activate the Copy command now. Select my circle. Right-click to finish the selection. Now specify the placement from point. As you can see, we are in multiple mode. Let's snap the circle here and here. Right-click and enter to close the tool. Let's activate the copy command again, and I'll select all three circles now. Right-click to finish the selection. As you see, the current copy mode remains multiple. To switch to single, just right-click and select Mode. Let's right-click and return to Multiple. Now let's specify the base point and the copy points. Each left-click places a copy of the geometry. I'll continue to left-click to place my copies, snapping to the endpoints of these lines. Last one. Right-click and enter to exit the tool. Now I'm going to activate the Erase command and create a window selection. Left to right, blue window. We learned in our previous lesson about the left to right window selection, which takes only objects fully within the selection rectangle. At this point, we right-click to execute the Erase. Let's undo. Dragging right to left also includes objects that are only partially within the selection rectangle. Let's press Escape to deselect everything. Now when I drag from right to left, reminder that the selection window is green and there's a dashed border around it. A left to right selection window is a blue rectangle with a solid border. Let's activate the Erase command again. Now let's say I want to select the circles, but leave the lines unselected. First I'll select everything, as I did with the selection window. Then I'm going to press down Shift and select the lines only. In the same fashion, I can select individual objects and unselect them. Just press and hold the Shift key and unselect the desired object. And we execute the erase with a right click. Let's undo. OK, let me zoom out a little bit so I can see more of my geometry. Here I've got a number of circles and rectangles. Of course, I can window select and hold the Shift key to unselect various objects. Shift and left click to unselect. Shift left click again. Let's undo. Another way to make my selection is to left-click in empty space. The command line says specify opposite corner or fence, W polygon, or C polygon. Let's start by demonstrating the fence mode. Type F, press Enter. Basically, every object crossed by the fence line becomes selected. The line doesn't have to make a closed profile, and the line can cross itself. Press Enter to finish the selection. Let's right-click and scroll down to Deselect All. Let's try the next option, left-click in empty space. Now type W for W Polygon and press Enter. First, let's switch Snap Mode off with a left-click. And let's create a polygon. This mode works like this. Only objects fully within the polygon are selected. Press Enter to finish the selection. And pressing Escape on your keyboard will deselect everything. Let's take a look at the last option, the C polygon. Left click in empty space. Type C in the command line and press Enter. Now let's create the polygon. 
As you can see, this polygon is green with a dashed line, and you guessed it, it includes even objects that are only partially within the selection polygon. Press Enter to finish the selection, and our objects are selected. Press Escape on the keyboard to deselect everything. Let's activate the Erase command one more time. To select everything, you can type All in the command line and press Enter. You can also press Ctrl A. Now every object in the drawing area is selected. Right click to execute the erase. And let's undo. This concludes our tutorial about the select function in AutoCAD.